I will show you how to add a new assembly item. Actually, because of the time element, we're going to clone an existing assembly and use it to create a new assembly. We grab our slide bar and we go down. We're at 62540. We're going to create a new item here that is a 2x8 tongue and groove with post and beam system complete with 3 quarter inch subflooring instead of 5 eighths. So we click on 62540, we go up to the top left and we type clone assembly. Here's our 62540, so we click on 62, click on that, and now we get a new number, 540. Let's get rid of that and put in 550. And we hit our tab key, and it says, do you want to create the new assembly? Of course we do. We go over here to the end, and we type in, instead of 5 eighths, we take that out, and we put in 3 quarter. Tab down, the square footage will be the same, the low and high quantities will be the same. It takes the same amount of time for the framing, so everything else here will remain just exactly as is. Now what we're going to do is come down here and we're going to get rid of the 617720, which is 5 8 by 4 plywood, CDX. We're going to get rid of that one. So we click on that and go up to Bill of Materials, delete the selected item, yes and yes, and now we want to replace that, so we go Bill of Materials, Add New, and we come over here and we want to be at, type in 61, takes us immediately down to here. And we scroll down, grab the slide bar, and scroll down to 77, 77 right here, and we get down to 3 quarter inch plywood right here. 7720 right there. We click on it, double click on it, goes over here and we put in one and hit our tab key again, save record and close. And you'll notice now that we've got the three quarter by four by eight plywood in here for our subfloor, just like it says right up here in our, our item bar. At the bottom of this window, you will see two more fields. One is a paragraph number which will relate in the future to the fast track proposal writing system and multiple paragraphs and that will also relate to the fast track proposal writer system so we won't worry about those right now. And let's save it and close it and you can see now that we've got 540 in here we've added in line item 550 right here. If you wish to create a new assembly and can't find an existing assembly to clone then return to the upper left and click on edit. Add new assembly. And of course your new assembly window will open up. You simply fill in the blanks here. If you're not sure how to build this assembly, then I'll ask you to write everything down just exactly the way you want it. Okay, that a lot of times will help you be able to build the assembly. But if you still can't get it just the way you want it, get all your information together, send me an email, and I'll be glad to help you figure out how to put this particular assembly in there. Now, we wrote this program almost 20 years ago. This is a derivative of the original one, but we have never had an item brought to us yet that we haven't been able to create an assembly to do. So feel free to write. Uh, we'll be glad to help you on that issue. Now, if you have an item here, let's say an example 62.11.10, and we want to edit one of the items in the material list. We simply go to it, click on it, and then right click on it, and then click on edit selected item, and that will take us right back to the material list and allow us to make the changes here that we need. Again, when deciding what number to assign to a new assembly or to a material item, look at the existing list under detail and see where it can fit in. Ideally, you will have 10 digits between each of the assembly items that you have here. We encourage you to test any new material item or assembly that you put in here before you do an estimate for your customer. Check it, make sure your numbers are working right.